Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are doing a little um, nursery tour of all of the great things that we still have here that would be great for Christmas gifts, either for yourself or someone in your sweet family or just as a thank you note, thank you note, thank you gift to your friends. Um, stay tuned because we do have a kind of a end of the year garden special on one of our most popular products. So stay tuned till the end to make sure you do not miss that. Thanksgiving has come and gone and we are officially now into the Christmas season. It is just blows my mind that we are here at Christmas, but we are so excited. Our family is excited. We've already been decorating like crazy and we have got some great things here from Chris Mills, who is a local artist who does just gorgeous stained glass both i mean just all sorts of different things so we're going to kind of go through and show some of the things that he um, has because he came he and his sweet family came last weekend and restocked with some more kind of christmas themed um, products that he has made so we have i love his christmas ornaments these are just gorgeous christmas ornaments i mean you've got the santa the different um, Christmas trees and snowmen and gingerbread men just really fun and whimsical these make great little gifts so as a thank you gift Christmas gift for your kids teachers you, whoever is in your life that you want to do um, a little gift for is great the angels of course the crosses all the different ribbons for all the different causes so he has all of those that are here just does a really, really nice job, and you will not meet a sweeter, most precious man in his family. We absolutely adore these people. He also has, of course, the garden stakes. We have talked about these before. I love these. These are so stinking cute. So, like, this is, here you go. This is about the only little slug that you want to be in your garden because look how cute he is. And so what you do is then you take these stakes and you put it well you put it in there and then it slides down into so you can put it in a flower pot you could put it in your landscape you could do all sorts of things so he has a wide variety of these guys um, just a lot of different things a lot of fun things really cute and whimsical he has now this i thought was really cool now you know we do a lot of um, the bottle benders wind chimes where they take recycled glass bottles and cut them and make the wind chimes well, Chris came up with this great idea. So he actually took, this is the glass bottle, melted it. Look how flat it is. Is that not the cutest thing? So his idea is it could be a cute little cheese tray, like an appetizer. You could put a candle on here. You could just use this in all sorts of ways. Um, but when he showed it to me, I was like, Dear heavens, Chris, I mean, like you can see that that is clearly a glass bottle that has been melted and just squished. Of course, Chris said, um, you know, really the way that he makes it is that he goes out on the hottest day in August in South Carolina and lays it on the asphalt for a little bit and then just runs over it with his, you know, his car and it flattens it out. <laughs> a little joke. Obviously, that's not true. But so you've got those. I love his nativity scenes. Look at this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful display. These make wonderful Christmas gifts. So, you know, if you have that person in your life that's just really hard to buy for, this would be great. I also think it would be great to go ahead and put a candle back here so then it, you see it sparkling behind it. So we've got those. Of course, we have all the birds. You name this cute little bird. He's going to have them. They've got that. They've got the standing angels. Again, you could put a, um, a candle behind it, a little votive candle right there sitting on the back. And then you have this angel that is kind of glowing. He's got night lights. All my South Carolina lovers, there you go. Um, just all sorts of different things. These are really neat. These he makes um, actually yard art stands and what happens is he has these plates 
and that you can, it's a whole little stand system, but you can take this plate out and you can change it seasonally. So obviously this would be a great one for Christmas. Then he's got ones, this is the, um, my mama got these back in the spring. Um, then he has the welcome with the traditional pineapple. That is just a sign of Southern hospitality. So he has all these different kinds of inserts that you can put in there and change with the season. So instead of like a, a yard garden flag, you can do the stained glass. The big birds, he's got big birds. He's got tons of cardinals. The hummingbird, look at the beautiful hummingbird. Love that. It's a different one. It's kind of a, a flat one as opposed, and then there's a green one. See the green? And then of course he has what I would, what, the 3D? Yeah, right here. There's like a 3D one right there. Um, so just really neat, interesting, different, gorgeous, high quality. Like I said, you cannot just beat um, supporting those local artisans and just wonderful. Local artisans, the bottle benders, these are, they're minis. These are just great little wind chimes where you have either this they call the tree of life with this is the tinkler because it has the three little um, glass remnant sticks on it. So that makes a great little, it tinkles, right? So you have the tinkler, then you have the minis. Um, so this is that great, again, that traditional pineapple trying to make it tinkle. There we go. <laughs> so um, again, you can use them inside, outside. They make great little sun catchers. So we have those. Of course, the aqua pots, the self-watering containers from Proven Winners. Love these. This is the Techno series. This is the Techno Matte Black and the Techno White. They call it Techno because it has the ridges. So the vases have the um, vertical ridges, whereas the um, flat rimmed shorter pots have the horizontal ridges. We will be getting these also in the smooth blue, but they have not come yet. So right now we have the matte black and the smooth white. So we have all of those. Of course, it is still not too late to plant your bulbs. Little moment of honesty here. All those bulbs that I have, Judy's not planted one yet. So clearly, <laughs> Here in North Carolina, we still have tons of time to plant your bulbs. I know even Laura with Garden Answer, she put out a video the other day and she is still planting bulbs in Oregon and they've had snow and all sorts of stuff. It is not too late to put bulbs into the ground. So whether it is like the tulips, um, those can of course, you can stick those in the fridge because they need to chill for 10 weeks in our warmer southern climates. And then all of the daffodils, the jonquils, the hyacinths, all of those, it is not too late to get your bulbs and go ahead and either pre-chill them if you need to pre-chill them or get them in the ground. Now, y'all love these strawberry planters as much as I did. I knew that they were gonna be wildly popular. Again, these are from Michael Carr. This is his take of the strawberry planter. Nice, big, huge holes that you can get a real size plant in there. They have gone like hotcakes. We have these three left. We have two of the glossy black and then one of the falling blue. If you are interested in purchasing these three, they are ready for sale now. You can either come out to the nursery and get them, again, with these gorgeous white pots. I love these, but all of these are on the website. So you can go to the website and go ahead and purchase them now. We are not shipping these. So if you do purchase them on the website, you will need to come to the nursery and come pick them up. We're not shipping these pots. So we also have the full volcanic blue behind me, which is gorgeous. Just a ton of different shapes on that. And then also the full volcanic plum. Again, the, the plum and the blue, they have the same sizes, just different color schemes. The plum has a little bit more green and a deep, deep purple in it. Really, really nice. And then of course the blue has a little bit more of the grays and that true blue in those. These are traditional planters. These are not the self-watering containers from, um, yeah, they're not the self-watering containers. You will notice the wall of bottle benders, you know, the three strand chimes, they are gone. 
you sweet folks, both who came locally and those of you that have asked us to ship them to you, we have three left. We have two Ursulas and then one fish left. We have sent bottle benders a whole box full of pine knots. So as soon as they get those made and sent back to us, we're going to stick them onto the website and you can order them there through the website. They went like hotcakes. We could not keep up with the orders um, because you love and appreciate them just as much as we do. I will keep you updated as soon as I get them back in their own line when our, with our nursery updates, we will let you know and you can go ahead and order them and it will ship them straight out to you. So wherever you are um, in the United States, we will send them to you. I don't know that we'll be able to get them the turnaround time in order for Christmas presents. So if you're thinking of it as far as a Christmas present, I would go with the minis as opposed to the three strands. I just don't think that there's gonna be enough time for us to get all that happening. And then of course, with all the COVID, I think the shipping times are all messed up. So just if you're thinking of a Christmas present, just wanted to let you know, you could do a little card that says, you had this really cool present coming to you. Um, all right. The special that we're talking about, the land and sea compost from Espoma. This has been wildly popular. Um, it is a great organic compost that is just a mixture of lobster, crab meal, um, all sorts of things. You will remember that we have used it in our beds. That video that I just we did about putting the shade garden to bed for winter, you will remember that we top dressed that whole bed in the land and sea compost. Um, if you're a fan of Laura with Garden Answer, you have seen that she uses this all the time. It is a great product. Now is a wonderful time for you to do exactly what I did in my shade bed. And it, when you're putting your garden to bed, to go ahead and top dress that area. So that way all winter it has time to break down, feed the soil, and just do um, wonders for your whole environment of your soil. So they're gonna be for the next two weekends, um, the first two weekends in December, because remember we're only open for two more weekends, we will have this on special for $12.99. So if you want to local people come and if you have projects around the yard that you are doing, this is a fantastic time to go ahead and get this. If you don't have anything right now that you're working on, this would be a great time to come and stock up for next spring because this $12.99 special is only for the next two weekends. We have got this and then you will remember from our soil delivery, um, compost delivery that we got in the pouring down rain. We also have eight more pallets of it. So we have got plenty of land and sea to um, supply all of your gardening needs, both now and coming in the spring. This is a great deal. So if you are local and you need some land and sea, come on by and see us the first two weekends in December, those Fridays and Saturdays, nine to three, and we will happily load up your car and truck with all the land and sea that you can hold. I think that's about it right now. What Jerry and I are gonna do is we are headed back over to the patio. We are working on that feverishly. We are going to get the beds planted today. Of course, we will be videoing that for you. So look for that coming in the next week where we will have the video of planting those beds. Jerry got the steps done yesterday in the fact that all the risers are in. They are gorgeous. We ended up having to go with five steps instead of four steps to make it work out evenly. Um, he did that yesterday, worked out there and they are just, oh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So I can't wait to show them to you. So we're going to leave you now and go work on the patio and film that. As always, thank you so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic, wonderful day. Early Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the next video. Bye friends. Just kidding, we're back. <laughs> we thought we were done and we weren't. We forgot to talk about the caladiums. The caladiums are ready. They are growing and gorgeous. We have got reds. We have got these whites. I love this snowdrift. No, not snowdrift. Yes, it is snowdrift from Proven Winners. 
I just posted today how I am decorating with caladiums inside of the house. I'm pairing the white ones with um, some red poinsettias. I've put different ones on the mantle. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna have a video coming out. Hopefully it should be on Monday showing you how we are using these beautiful plants in the house as Christmas decorations. They are simply stunning and gorgeous. Of course, once you're done using them um, for Christmas, they make great, great house plants. I mean, I did, we had White Wonder. This is White Wonder. I had this last year um, in a pot on our porch and it was the most fabulous container ever. So not only you use them as Christmas decorations, then they go to house plants, then come spring when it gets warm outside, then you move them outside and you use them in your landscape. They do fantastic in the landscape, in a pot, in a hanging basket, extremely versatile. This was a test program with Proven Winners. They wanted to see how people responded to using caladiums in Christmas decorations, just kind of a way, a different spin on poinsettias and ways to add and just a different look and they are gorgeous. So we have got them, um, I mean, look at that. Is that not just the most beautiful plant you have ever seen? Extremely Christmassy because they are all the ones that we have are either white and green or red, green and white combinations of with a little bit of pink in there so they are just by definition the perfect Christmas colors so we have these come get these um, we can't wait to get them into your hands okay now we're really done y'all have a great day we'll see you next time bye